Hello, I'm Tracy Wallach. Welcome to the second in a series of lectures on role analysis methods. This lecture will focus specifically on the metaphor method of role analysis. Part one of this series provided a general overview of role analysis and a description of a basic structure that may be used to conduct a role analysis in a group setting. Remember, Long defined role as the intersection between the person and the system. The metaphor method developed by Mullenkamp and Green is a form of role analysis that can be used in the context of review and application groups within a group relations conference, within an intact work team in an organization, or as part of student project groups. The metaphor method is a way of understanding more about the informal roles one takes up. Here, participants are asked to consider the roles they and others take up in terms of metaphor. It is a whole group activity that can help surface hidden projections between group members. The process goes as follows. In the first step, each member is asked to think about the roles they have taken up in the system in the form of a metaphor. In one or two words, they write the metaphor for their own role on a post-it note. They may be asked to consider an animal, vegetable, movie, song, book, poem, scene, such as a cloud in the sky, a lightning bolt, a puppy, a tempest in a teapot, something like that that describes their own role in the system. In the second step, once each member completes that process for themselves, they think about a metaphor for every other member of the group and write that metaphor on two separate post-it notes, one of which will be kept and the other will be distributed to the particular member. Next, each person has a turn to receive from all the other members the word or metaphor that describes how the group members perceive them. This may be done verbally as well as with the post-it note. The receiver will say out loud all the words and metaphors that they have been given. The giver will have kept a copy of the post-it notes that they gave away. The receiver will also share the metaphor that they gave themselves. In step four, the person is invited to look for common themes, contradictions, or a single narrative that ties all of the metaphors together, including their own. When everyone has had their turn at the end of this process, each person in the group will end up with several post-it notes that they have received from other group members, plus copies of the post-it notes or a list of metaphors that they have given out to others. In the next part of the exercise, each person is asked to reflect upon the two sets of metaphors they have before them, those they have given out and those they received. The following questions may be useful. What of themselves do they recognize in the metaphors they gave out? The metaphors that are given away may be considered to be their own projections. Second, what story can they create about what is projected out and what is projected into them? What are they now aware of about themselves? What will they now do as a result of what they have learned from the story? When everyone has shared their reflections, invite the group to reflect on how they might be using individual members to take on unwanted aspects of the group. How might individuals be used in service of the group? What valences are present in individuals that the group may be unconsciously hooking into? The consultant may also help the group as a whole to consider all the metaphors offered and to identify common themes. Is there a central metaphor to describe the system in the mind that characterizes the group? Advanced groups may use the process to identify the system in the mind they hold for the larger organizational context. For further information on the metaphor method and role analysis in general, please see the following references. Thanks to Renee Mullenkamp and Zachary Green for trusting me to present their work here. Please visit their website at www.grouprelations.org. For more information, please go to my website at www.tracywallach.org.